Operational Instructions Prior to use, please review the Interlock 35 directions for use. Place the catheter in the area to be embolized per standard technique. Take care to position the catheter tip parallel with, not perpendicular to, the vessel wall to facilitate deployment of the coil. Fill a 10 cc syringe with an appropriate solution. Attach the filled 10 cc syringe to the flush port on the dispenser hoop. Flush the dispenser hoop vigorously, bathing the coil within. Slowly withdraw the Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system from its dispenser hoop and inspect the assembly. Discard if there is any evidence of damage. Ensure that the Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system arms are interlocked inside the introducer sheath. Attach the included RHV to the proximal lure adapter on the hub of the catheter. Attach a line for continuous flush of heparinized saline solution to the RHV. In general, one drop of saline solution every one to three seconds is recommended. Open the thumb screw of the RHV and carefully insert the Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system until the distal tip of the introducer sheath is firmly seated in the catheter hub. Tighten the RHV thumb screw to prevent retrograde flow, but not so tight as to pinch the introducer sheath and inhibit forward movement of the delivery wire. Prior to advancing the Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system from its introducer sheath into the catheter, ensure that blood is minimized within the RHV or on the fibers of the coil, which are visible within the coil introducer. If blood is present, Maintain inline pressure of the continuous flush to prevent retrograde flow onto the coil. If bleedback continues, increase the rate of continuous flush infusion until blood is minimized on the coil and within the RHV. Release the Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system inside its introducer sheath by gently pinching the sheath on both sides of the twist lock mechanism and rotating the proximal side counterclockwise. Transfer the Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system and delivery wire from the introducer sheath into the catheter by advancing the delivery wire in a smooth, continuous manner. Gently withdraw and remove the introducer sheath once the coil is visibly transferred completely into the delivery catheter. The Interlock 35 coil and interlocking arms should not be visible. Do not discard the sheath in case it's necessary to remove the Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system prior to deployment. Maneuver the Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system under fluoroscopy until the coil detachment zone is approximately one centimeter proximal to the catheter tip. If Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system repositioning is necessary, gently retract the Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system under fluoroscopy. If repositioning is difficult or impossible, remove and discard the Interlock 35 fibered IDC occlusion system. To deploy the coil, slowly advance the delivery wire under fluoroscopy until the interlocking arms pass the catheter's tip. If deployment resistance is encountered, slowly rotate the delivery wire until the coil deploys. Upon conclusion of coil deployment, carefully remove the delivery wire from the catheter so that the delivery arm does not catch on the valve in the RHV thumbscrew. If multiple embolization devices are required to achieve desired occlusion, please repeat the steps outlined previously or refer to the steps outlined in the Interlock 35 Fibered IDC Occlusion System Directions for Use.